So you have a 41-year-old woman in your practice. She has estrogen positive, HER2 low metastatic breast cancer. She's received palbociclib and letrozole for about 18 months, fulvestrin for about six months, and capecitabine for about nine months. Um, and now she's coming to your office with progression of disease in lung, liver, and bone. Um, she's minimally symptomatic, um, definitely wants more treatment. Um, and would you consider giving her TDXD is the question. Um, and I think the answer should be, based on the Destiny Breast of 4 data, that yes, she would be a great candidate for TDXD. Um, so she's had one line of chemotherapy, which is the Zalota, um, and this child required uh, either one or two lines of prior chemotherapy. Um, it required the patients who were hormone receptor positive to be endocrine resistant or endocrine refractory, which you could say she is after progression on those two lines of treatment, um, with the full vestrin only having lasted six months. Um, and we know from the Destiny Breast 4 trial that the TDXD improved both progression-free and overall survival in hormone receptor positive patients who are HER2 low. Um, so absolutely this patient would qualify and would be a great candidate for TDXD as her next line of therapy.